MacBook Air 2008 and 2009 Wi-Fi card replacement. When removing the rear access panel on this model, there are three different unique screw sizes. On the top left is a medium sized screw. And in the top right corner, there's also the same type medium sized screw. In the middle two top screws, they are the longer ones. So in total, there are two long screws in the middle top, two medium length screws on each of the top corners, and six very small screws going around the rest of the contour of the MacBook. Go ahead and remove the four medium and long screws up top first. Now go ahead and remove the six short Phillips head screws. You can now lift up the cover. Before you begin, start off by disconnecting the battery from the logic board. It's connected one simple connector switch. The battery is being held in with nine Phillips head screws in various sizes. Go ahead and unscrew those screws about five to seven turns each, but leave them in their perspective socket this will make it easier for you to reinstall the battery without losing the screws. Once all nine are loose, go ahead and lift up the battery and move it over to the side. Wi-Fi card removal. The Wi-Fi card is located in the bottom right of the Mac. It uses the same socket as the keyboard, trackpad, on the logic board. Go ahead and start off by removing the two Phillips head screws that are securing the security pin that's holding both of those connections in place. Once the Phillips head screws are removed you can go ahead and lift up the security pin. Pry back gently the connection to the Wi-Fi card and peel it back. Try to do this very gently and slowly as to not rip the backlight cover. Go ahead and remove the two Phillips head screws in the top right and the bottom left corner that's holding the plastic retainer pin. Go ahead and disconnect the Bluetooth antennas. Now go ahead and disconnect the Wi-Fi antenna. Go ahead and disconnect the ribbon cable from the Wi-Fi card. We can go ahead now and remove the last Phillips head screw that's securing the card to the MacBook. It's located in the top right corner. Once that's removed, go ahead and gently lift up the card. It's now completely out. Wi-Fi card replacement. Installation. Insert the Wi-Fi card into the bottom right part of the MacBook chassis. It should drop right, right in place with the processor unit facing upwards. Go ahead and secure it with the Phillips head screw in the top right. Once secured, go ahead and reconnect the Bluetooth antenna. Now go ahead and reconnect the two Wi-Fi antennas. Go ahead and reconnect the ribbon cable that connects the logic board to the Wi-Fi card. It should clip right in place. If you feel a lot of resistance, reseat the cable. Go ahead and secure the plastic bracket that keeps the Wi-Fi card from 
moving around. Go ahead and secure it with the two Phillips head screws, one in the top right, one in the bottom left. Go ahead and place back the bracket that guards the keyboard, trackpad, and the Wi-Fi card from slipping out of the logic board. Go ahead and secure it with the two Phillips head screws. Okay, the Wi-Fi card is now secure. Let's go ahead and put back the battery. Battery reinstallation. Place the battery gently into its socket. Go ahead and secure the nine Phillips head screws. You can now go ahead and reconnect the battery to the logic board. We're ready to put back the main cover. Place the cover and cover the MacBook Air. Start off by first installing the two long middle Phillips head screws. Then the two medium sized Phillips head screws on each corner on the top of the MacBook. Now install the six short Phillips head screws going around the bottom contour of the MacBook. That's it, we're done.